hey, everyone here, I'm gonna show you what an integral is. So basically, if you try to find the area under the line, y equals five between two different x values, you could just use geometry. Like between one and five, the width of this rectangle is four, and the height is five, so the area is 20. Okay, Snoop, but what if the line is curvy, like a parabola? Look at y equals x squared. Geometry doesn't work. How do we fix this Mr. D-O-double-G? Oh, good point, Kim. Well, if the line is y equals x squared, we need to use multiple rectangles. In fact, if we use infinitely many, we perfectly approximate the function. So since these rectangles have to match up with the function, each one has a height of y. In this case, that's x squared. Okay, but how do you get infinitely many rectangles, Snoop? I'm so confused here. Don't worry, I got this. So like we already know the height of each rectangle is set at the height of the function. And since the area of a rectangle is width times height, that means that the width must be an infinitely small distance. We call this the differential. It is in the form of dx here. So we are adding up a bunch of very small rectangles. To do this, we use the integral symbol to represent this summation. Thus, the final expression for this area would be like this. Later, I'll teach you how to actually evaluate this expression, but I think this is enough for now, Kim. Oh, thanks, Snoop, for the help. I'm about to get a five on my calc exam. You guys should subscribe.